Okay, uh, here we are, back with the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Uh, last time we left off at the beginning of the first proper investigation uh, for this series. Really, this game and this series. So, you know, that's something. We got old Sazato and her mean mug, and me mean mug looking right at me. Which is unfortunate, you know. She seems like a nice young lady. I'd like to, you know, assuage her fears and doubts. And hopefully we can be friends. Let's see if there's anything else to talk about. Okay, I guess not. Okay, uh, I don't think I can move anywhere. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, okay, fair, 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 fair. Okay, let's, uh, oh, bro, you're still here? I thought you had left, man, because, like, you hadn't said anything in a while. Did you fucking see her fucking judo throw me or whatever? Anything to say about that? Let's see, can I, like, scroll? Oh. Hmm. Okay, guess not. Because uh, uh, I had an arrow, so I thought there was, like, another half of the room I could explore. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is where Dia Kazuma-sama would have sat wherever, whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma. He didn't even make it to his destination. Yeah, that really sucks, honestly. It looks as though the last entry is incomplete. Which means what? He was in the middle of writing it when the incident happened? Let's see what it says. It could be a valuable clue. Hiya! Bro, what the fuck? Okay, you could have said no. A, 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 a humble no would have sufficed. You didn't have to, to throw me around. I mean, jeez. Being stuffed in briefcases, sleeping in wardrobes, getting judo tossed. Not been a, a, a good 15 days or whatever for our boy Ryanosuke. That's out of the question. What? Kazuma-sama may have disparted this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But, but what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case? Especially in handcuffs, man. Like, I can't even get up. Hmm. All right, all right. I won't read the damn book. Even though it could be super useful and handy. Poor Kazuma-sama. I don't like prying into people's personal matters either. But in this case, isn't the need for clues more important? No, I didn't fucking mean to press that. Hmm. Are, are we... Oh dear, that won't do. Oh, what's the matter, Sasara-san? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so focused, I forget to look around properly. I still need to find some kind of voice that works for her, because, like, I don't know. I can't do a, like, ooh, the screechy female voice. Oh, ho, ho, I'm, I'm, I'm Mickey Mouse. Like, that's not going to be the voice I do for her. Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself so, see, it's, it's not good. It's just not good. Ah, yes, that's not good. I don't suppose you're as foolish as me in that regard, are you, Naruhodo-san? I'm sure you're careful to look all around using the directional buttons, which we all know exist in uh, boats. Now, let's investigate all corners of this cabin. Okay, so that's how I look around. I was wondering, because you know, there's no touch screen. Yes, let's do that. I suppose my field of vision has been rather small until now. Okay, so I just have the checklist system that uh, DD and uh, SOJ, for, for the cool kids, or the system they had to let you know when you were done examining things. Hmm. Well, then again, I guess the Ace Attorney Trilogy also did the same thing. Uh, hmm. Seems like there's a lot to look around. TTV, to be honest with you. 
What about this vent? I'm curious about this vent looking thing. I think that's some kind of opening for a ventilator. But like, I also don't want to have just like a default talking voice because like, I mean, she's a character. She has, she has some kind of voice, right? And, but then again, from what we've heard of her voice actress, like, her character, like, her voice isn't, like, super high-pitched or anything. Like, she's kind of, you know, soft-spoken and, uh, refined and whatnot. I should to reflect that, but also I don't, it's gonna end up sounding like Hosunaga. Because that's kind of the same vibe I was going for with him, so. I don't know, man. A hole through which fresh air can circulate into the cabin. Yeah, for, like, ace, an air vent for, like, the AC and shit. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, this ventilator, if that's what it is, looks like it must connect to the next door cabin. Well, yes, it would appear to. You're right. But if its purpose is to allow fresh air into the room, surely it should be connected to the outside. Hmm. Yeah, you would think. Uh, that, 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 that's true, in fact. Perhaps it's so that rain and spray don't find their way in when the seas are rough. Or something like that. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess if you have, like, a direct connection... Yeah, what, the, what, what, what is the AC system like in boats? Well, I'm sure maybe these days they have, like, better ways of, you know, ventilating boats. But back then, like, yeah, what, what, what means did they have to, you know, keep cabins cold or cool, you know? Uh, I suppose maybe that's it. Oh, so it's not gonna be like a oh hey, maybe I escaped. He escaped through the the, the 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 vent. I mean, I feel like someone could fit through there, you know. Let's see. What it's a, it's like? What is this? I wonder. This is yes. It's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean contraption? I read about it in a book I was studying that talked about life in Great Britain. Large households often have bell cords like this, which you can pull to ring a bell to summon servants. Oh, interesting. That reminds me, apparently, did you guys know that in like, I don't know, the 1800s to like 1700s, it was like, I don't know if, it wasn't really commonplace, I guess, but there were instances where people would, uh, have like bells attached to their coffins in case that they were buried, you know, for like funerals and stuff. Because apparently, I guess, you know, back then they weren't as fucking uh, thorough when making sure the person they, that they were burying was actually dead. And there'd be instances of people, you know, being buried alive, which is like pretty horrifying. Like in terms of ways to die, like that's pretty, uh, it's pretty high up there, you know? So yeah, they would have like a bell that would be in their coffin that would connect, I guess, to the out to the you know the top of the uh, outside, you know, because it's only six feet deep, right? Like, I guess you wouldn't need that much of a, 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 a connection. But yeah, like they would ring the bell to let people know that hey, I'm 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 not dead, I'm alive. Please help me. Again, I'm not sure how, how widespread it was, but the fact that like there was even patents and like it was you know something that some people had is pretty it's pretty harrowing when you think about it, you know. Anyway. Really? That sounds almost magical. I mean, it's just a fucking bell. Like, also, bell is like, like, I mean, it's a bell, you know? Bells aren't really magical. Hmm. Hmm. Shall we give it a little try? Yes. In the interest of cultural research, obviously. Yep, it's a fucking bell, all right. Ugh, don't know what you're expecting. I suppose nobody comes for lowly Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just everyone is busy, that's all. I mean, yeah, to be fair, you know, dead bodies and such, you know. I imagine it does take up people's attention. It's like, is the, 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 the bell connected to, like, some other part of the ship that others would hear? Because otherwise, I'm not sure what's so fancy about... A bell, you know. Anyway, check out our uh, home away from home, our wardrobe. 
Have you really been living in that wardrobe the entire time, Naruto-san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no, I suppose not. Ah, that's a cute face. Although it must have been rather exciting making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I did basically have to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. But because of that, you had no idea what was happening out here in the cabin. Oh, what, that fucking wardrobe soundproof? Like, I don't, I don't think that's the case. N no, sadly not. <laughs> I look all sad. I'm just trying to fucking... I didn't murder this man. He's my best friend. He's my bro. Come on, you know? I've investigated thoroughly, but I can't find anything out of place. Oh, duh. We already looked at the bed. Dummy. Uh... Can I look at the bed? I thought... I'd... See, look, look. It's like glimmering, so I thought maybe it was like the bed. I thought, like, oh, it's shiny, because... Like, okay, so, is it okay? So, it, it, it glimmers normally, but if there's, like, a... If it highlights something, then, yeah, you want to... You want to check it out. See, what about... These? What are... These look like books. The books have fallen over on the shelf. Look, they've all toppled the same way. And what's this? A statue of some god of the sea? Although... He's fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as if the whole shelf has been ransacked and everything mown down at once. Is there like a struggle? What? I mean, I guess fucking all the, the, the other evidence points to that, but we'll, we'll see. I wonder if perhaps it was Kozuma-sama doing his uh, morning sword training, do you think? I, I seriously doubt that. Like, Come on. Then perhaps it was you, Naruto san, in a fit of rage. I wouldn't have bothered leaving the wardrobe just to mess up a few books in a statue. Could the way these things have been thrown about have anything to do with the case, I wonder? Well, I'll just set everything straight again. I don't like to see a mess. And so much for preserving the crime scene, am I right? Crime scene, am I right? Isn't that lovely? Let's see. What about the that the briefcase that I called home for a little while? That's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. Trust me on that one, pal. Memories? What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away on this vessel. I was brought on board inside that case. Ah, yes. I see it says, uh, this way up in Japanese. Which, in hindsight, I should have realized the foreign improvement wouldn't be able to read. Which is, uh, which makes you wonder why I wrote it in Japanese when I know English and study English. So I could have put English because they might have known English more likely than knowing Japanese. I would say no English, the fucking Russian dudes were talking to me. I was turned over and over and over, and then I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh, that's, oh, that's, uh, that's a charming face. I wish you would look at me like that. Oh dear, being a stowaway isn't as romantic as it sounds. Well, it was less painful than a fucking Cesaro takedown, Jesus. All right, let's see, uh, the ink. Okay, well, I guess the message is like the more relevant thing. So what the fuck is that, I wonder? Okay, focus. No, no, it's not what I want to click on. Did, did Kazuma, Kazu, Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like it's written in ink. He must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. Then I suppose he wrote this message by dipping his finger in the spillage. Poor Kazuma-sama. No doubt he was in terrible pain. 
It's almost unbearable to imagine it. Hmm. I suppose he was trying to leave some kind of a clue in his final moments, was he? Ah, yes. Kazuma, that famous uh, student of Russia, of the Russian language. I mean, he actually could know Russian, but he never brought it up before, so that's curious. I'm sorry, partner, but I can't read your writing. I don't think that's Japanese, Naruhoto-san. Oh, not? Then, then what language is it? I mean, are you not familiar? I mean, you know what Russia is. Like, they have their own alphabet. Like, I don't fucking know Russian, but I can recognize it when I see it. It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. It's not a foreign script I'm familiar with. What does it mean, I wonder? I mean, I guess back then... Oh, what the f... Bro, what the fuck? Where did you... Where did you... Bro, don't just fucking appear in my fucking... Uh, general vicinity like you just teleported in here. What the fuck, my dude? Who's that? He wasn't here a moment ago. As far as I can tell, it looks like he might be European. Oh, because he's blonde? You fucking blonde people must be European. Oh, how how did he? You've noticed the man too, haven't you? Yeah, because we were looking. We turned to look. What? We were like we were looking down at the writing, and then he just fucking jumped on the table. Okay. I mean, I I know who he is. I recognize him from the cutscene, but that's uh weird. I didn't expect him to make his entrance in such a way, you know? I have no idea who he is or how he got in here, but he looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. Yeah! Naruhoto san, don't tell me. Do you really not know who that is? Bro, you didn't fucking know who he was. Well, did you? Fuck, I don't remember. How did the cutscene go? Because the, the, the Russian dudes asked. Yeah, you know who he was until he formally introduced himself, if I remember right. Um, well, no, I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's something very unusual about him. And is he investigating Kazuma's desk, or is he just playing on it? I can't tell. Well, in that case... We simply must talk with him. Am I just imagining it, or does, does Sanosan look almost uncontrollably excited? And by the way, I expect that you've noticed already, but just in case, if you press X on people when they're in the crosshairs, you can converse with them. Alright then, I'll get that suspiciously tall gentleman in my sights and see what he has to say for himself. Oh, well, uh, please do. Okay, I love the fucking, like, the first thing that uh, Narahodo noticed was A, he looks European, and two, he's tall and therefore suspicious. You're a real fucking uh, master of observation there, my dude. Also, oh, I guess, can I, okay, I mean, it's lovely. I, 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 you, you hang out there for a little while, Sherlock, or, sorry, Herlock. Uh, I, I, I want to examine everything first. What do you think this is? It looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing was, it appears to have broken clean in two. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little Netsuke fastener from a kimono outfit. Or Netsuke. Uh, I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He wouldn't have secretly carried a cute little trinket around like this with him. Would he? And the mark beside it. What is it, I wonder? It has a sort of brick-like hue. Yes, you're right. It is the color of brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything of the same color anywhere else in the cabin. Curious. What about this sign? Is it like break in case of emergency? Oh, okay. Uh, these are the rules of passage for travel aboard the SS Pura. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers on board. Passengers, passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in their cabins. Pets are also strictly forbidden. <laughs> what 
What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Are you more of a dangerous object or a pet? Um, I take offense to both of those things for different reasons. I can't decide. Well, one thing's for sure. Either way, I wasn't supposed to be in here, so basically, I'm all fucked though, and I'm surprised, even if I prove my innocence, that they don't just end up throwing me off the boat for being throwing me off the boat for being a stowaway. Anyway, let's. I can probably talk to this dude too, probably. Let's see. Is that like a knife? And like with an elbow? Oh. Oh. That's my dinner from last night. A roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But did you eat it on the floor here? I'm not a dog, says Otto-san. I ate at the table, of course. Well, shit, I guess that adds to the whole pet discussion. Which begs the question of when and how the plate ended up on the floor. What was that, like a fucking just a giant-ass, like, what? roast chicken bone. It's like a, a wing, I guess? But Kazuma-sama, he didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Who, 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 who the fuck doesn't like chicken? I mean, unless you're vegan, of course. Which meant all the more for me. Yay, I got to fucking in, 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 indulge my inner glutton. Oh, no! Does, does that mean poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on this earth with an empty belly. Oh, you gotta make, stop making those sad faces, Suzato. You're making me sad. It's just too horrible. Ugh, now I suddenly have a guilty conscience and an achy stomach. So that, there's the table itself. There's nothing on this table at all. The plates and cutlery all are, are all over the floor for some reason. Yes, it's strange. Last night, when I went to sleep, I'm sure everything was still. No. Wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I... I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. Okay, well, did someone, like, drug your food? Or did, we, did, did our food get drugged? So... So, then, perhaps you are responsible for what happened to Kazuma-sama. No, no, no! Pl trust me. I'm, I, I, I'm just a, 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 a poor boy. A, a, a soft boy who doesn't want to be fucking tossed around. I think I got a sweet katana. Oh. Okay, I guess instead of clicking on the sweet katana, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on the sweet Russian crewman. Um, excuse me. W what? I, uh... I was wondering how it's going. The investigation, I mean. Mm. Fred's mother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it's not true, I see. Sorry. Is a criminal asking investigator for investigation about his crime. Very funny. Oh, it wasn't supposed to be a joke. He doesn't appear to be laughing either. He's convinced you're guilty. He might have useful information, though. I have to keep trying. So, uh, last night, uh, she said, Did you notice anything out of the ordinary at all? Mm. Yet, of course not. Now back to corner of room and make silent. I say no more to you. Hmm. Did I hit a nerve? Just for a minute there, he seemed a little flustered. Okay, so I guess the... Oh, it was just very specific. What part of the katana, if I want to clip the katana. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. That's fucking weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes. He was always saying that a Japanese man's katana is his soul. He was very strange like that. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring it on the strip. I suppose that shows how important it was to him. And now he's gone. But I'm not ready to let his spirit go just yet. Uh, 
Let's see. What about this uh, scroll? Psyche, the Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Yes, his calligraphy always was a reflection of his heart. Yet you, can you really look at those characters without feeling shame, knowing who drew them so thoughtfully? Of course I can. I mean, I'm innocent, so why shouldn't I be able to, you know? Hmm. Even though you stowed away on the ship. Ugh. Now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win. Ain't that just the way? Ain't Narhudo. When I went for help and the KU crewman forced the door open, this bolt had been firm. Oh, so that's why the bolt was done because it was, they had to break it open to get, just get in. That's fair. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy. And it just slides across to secure the door shut. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's no wonder everyone suspects me. I mean, yeah, to be fair, the, the, the case is not looking so good for you so far. Hmm. When she glares at me like that, I feel tense all up and down my spine. I, I remember reading once in a detective novel, the culprit used a needle and thread to draw a bolt across from outside the room in a situation like this. Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. The door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal, and they seal together perfectly. There will be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. Oh, don't don't look at me like that. Now you're scaring me. Would you glance at me like that? I feel pins and needles all up and down my spine. Okay, Jesus. How about getting read the third degree? Or read the riot act, I think is how the term goes. Okay, so I think we've looked at everything else in the room, so, uh... Let's see what this fella is up to. Um... Excuse me. Hmm... Excuse me? Do you have a moment? Sure. Shh. This is a critical point in my investigation. I'm not gonna... I have to figure out a voice for him. He's very British-y, but... Kind of, I, I already sort of gave a, like a, a suit of British to uh, Trianosuke, and my range is not that dynamic, so I, I feel like there's not going to be a great distinction between the two of them. Because if you hear Rianosuke's voice in lines, he does kind of sound like Britishy to an extent, you know. Hmm. Maybe I should leave him alone. He seems a little unfriendly. Yes, perhaps that would be for the best. Oh. Oh my fucking god! Don't! Okay. Um, is this the fucking The Great Ace Attorney Chronicles? Or is this Five Nights at Freddy Steampunk Edition? Because that motherfucker just jump scared me. I, I did not know that he was going to do that. Ah! That's me right now, TBH. Um, also, man, you kind of are tall. Like, your hat is, like, going up, you know, into the screen. Um, sorry, what exactly what the fuck, Nani, the fuck were you doing on Kazuma's desk just now? Hmm. Oh, hey, don't look at me like that. Hmm, what kind of voice should I go for? Ah, I see. Fascinating. Maybe yeah, a little more grit, you know, because he seems probably older, right? You know, compared to Rianosuke, he's all squeaky, clean, teenage. I don't know how to tell all this. How old am I? How old is Rianosuke? Oh. I guess I don't have my own profile yet. Uh. Oh, look, man, Cesaro was 16? Jeez. She's definitely mature for her age. Really? She's the epitome of a refined Japanese lady. 
But yeah, so I'll go something similar to Reynosuke, but a little more grit, you know, to reflect his age and, uh, experience? I don't know. Ah, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry, what the fuck are you looking at? Uh, I mean, uh, besides me. It feels like he's looking right through me. I mean, uh, those probably are like, what, x-ray goggles? Oh, yes. Everything is clear now. <laughs> the train of reasoning has run its course. My deductions have crystallized. You have been in Afghanistan, I perceive. Just recently returned, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Afghanistan? Bro, I am like, I have not stepped foot in the Middle East, my good man. Sorry, what? My, what? And now, whilst venturing towards foreign climes, you find yourself in a most troubling predicament. Oh, well that's true at least. But, but how? Hey, nice pipe. How the deuce did I know that, perhaps? It was really a most elementary deduction. Hardly worth explaining. Have you, perhaps, managed to deduce anything else? But of course, a great many things. There is no mystery, my dear madam. For example, you have fled your native land of Russia, being, as you are, a merciless revolutionary. Um, no. What? No, bro. Uh, what? Duh. You leave 16 victims of assassination in your wake, and now travel to England to probe the Crystal Tower. Bro, what the fuck are you on about? G with the b b b b b b b b b ribboned. That's a fun word to say. And with the bed ribboned occupant of this very cabin discovered your identity, you ended his life too. Yes, I believe that summarizes the facts beautifully. No need to hide the truth now. Ha. Nothing to see these eyes. Okay, I want to go gritty, but not too. I don't. I don't make him raspy because uh, that's not fitting either. So. It's gonna be a work in progress, you know? But, uh, as for your fucking deductions, uh, they all, they need some work, my friend. Uh, Erm, just to be clear, you are talking about me, are you? Uh, certainly I am. Do you see another in this cabin who fits the bill? A Russian assassin with 16 victims to his name? What, do I look like fucking Shelly the Killer to you? I don't even see one person who fits the bill. Uh... So it's true. It was you who did this to Kazuma-sama. Bro! Uh, Sazaro. You saw me, like, two weeks ago, or whatever. Or however long it was. Uh, you, you know I'm not from uh, Russia, and, and I, 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 I'm not a fucking assassin. What the fuck did you just say to me? And, and you're planning revolution too. Bro, what the fuck? You saw me in court the other day. You know I'm a Japanese boy, not a Russian boy. It's shameful behavior, Narhodo-san. Absolutely wicked. No, listen. Ah, oh, fuck. Here we go again. Oh, sorry. Aw, oh, shit. Here we go again. Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is ridiculous. Man, I'm just getting Cesado took down, like, up and down this fucking cabin. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. Geez, you're fucking easily swayed, are you not, Cesado? And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Ah, but was I not right? Whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you do find yourself in a most tripling predicament, do you not? Also, I think inflection, inflection is also going to be important as well, if I want to try and maintain a distinction. Man, I should be taking voice action lessons with Ro. <laughs> anyway, that, that part's true, like... 
out of the 600 fucking asinine things you just said, that is accurate. I can't deny. Well, yes, maybe. Ha! There you have it, you see. What do you make of it? Hmm? So they get... If you just back up a little bit, you know, a, a, a guy needs his personal space. You know what I'm saying? Well, to be honest, this ship is en route to England, and I'm in handcuffs at the scene of a murder. So shit's not really going too hot for me. So I'm not really sure you could call it deduction. It's more plain observation. Y I mean, yeah. Indeed. And observation, my dear boy, is the basis of all deduction. My method is founded upon the observation of trifles, you see. I announce my findings with a brassy certitude. And, more often than not, I'm right. So what, you just fucking say with the first thought that comes to your mind and you just kind of hope it, that it turns out to be right? I mean, I, I guess that works. Ha! Uh... Ha! Ha! I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. How remiss of me. I am none other than the greatest detective of the century, known to men and women the world over. The inimitable Herlock Sholmes. Ooh, I like that. I do like that theme. Uh, I, I, is that your theme, or is that just like... I don't know. It's a nice... I, I like it. So, it's really you. The actual Herlock Sholmes. The very same. The inimitable actual Herlock Sholmes. That's funny when you consider his name change. Uh, do you know this motherfucker, Sizato-san? The most famous detective in the world, Nurahodo-san. Of course I do. See, uh, of course I do. There's nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on then? We must ask him what he's deduced. Oh, knowing him, he's probably going to be like, oh, uh. You did it because you're in the wardrobe and it was a locked room mystery. I mean, I know that because I saw the cutscene, but you know. He will have worked out the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to chat with our boy Sher uh, Herlock. But first, let me show him my pen. Um, Mr. Sholmes, what do you make of this? Shh! Quiet! When I'm ruminating in the course of my deductions, nothing must disturb my mind. Oh, uh, so sorry. Ah! An Indian curry, perhaps? What's he ruminating about? A lunch menu? What about this paper seal? You got any thoughts about this? Ah, oh, you do. Hmm. I've never seen anything like this. Most extraordinary writing. Bro, you never seen Japanese script before? It's kanji, my dude. Uh, you said the same earlier this morning, I think. Indeed. But his uncommonness is so unremarkable, I felt the need... Unremarkable. I felt the need to say it anew. Yes, I do believe these characters may be a crude attempt at a Japanese script. So you are familiar with the concept of the Japanese language. What? Mr. Narahodo, I don't like to be the one to tell you this, but I think Mr. Holmes is trying to say your handwriting is a little untidy. Oh, he's saying... Oh. Jeez. Don't I feel like a jerk? Is... Is he making fun of me? Okay, so let's uh, give him the old... See what else he has to say. Great detective. So you're a great detective, are you? S sorry, what was the what was your name again? In in, in indeed, I am none other than the one and only Herlock Scholz. Oh, I see. You're German, a uh, hair lock, was it? No, no, I have no hair. I mean, I have hair. Please call me Scholz. 
You can read all about my exploits in this exciting London publication. Oh yes, Rat Ranst magazine. Full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Great Britain. I never miss an issue. I have it sent from England especially. Ah, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Sholmes. So, uh, you're the protagonist in a series of short stories, then? Indeed I am. And you've read so many of your own stories, you started to think you really are a detective. Oof, that's kind of a roast. Make no mistake, I'm not the poor deluded fellow you take me for. Your inference is backward. Backward? Uh, back backward? What? Excuse me. <clears throat> my trusty biographer records my greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in the magazine. You have a biographer, do you? Also, uh, interesting that you fucking read my thoughts, apparently. I mean, that's a, that's a running thing where, like, you, the blue lines are supposedly in my head, but, like, there are instances pretty often where the other characters can apparently hear you. So, maybe you're not as, I mean, not super dumb, because, like, if you just gathered that just by looking at my face, I guess you know something, but anyway. Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson, presently keeping shop in London. Dr. Wilson? Um, hmm, I wonder. I must say, thanks to that publication, I've been fantastically busy as of late. Why, this very moment, I am returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out whether I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to me a science. Logical reasoning in its purest form. A science? Really? The astute observer notices even the most subtle of reactions in his subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of a muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arm sleeves, furrows in the skin, all these things are data. Right. And the trained logician makes deductions from this data in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is, without fail, the truth. As I demonstrated only a few short moments ago even though most of that was not true. How could he look me in the eye and claim that? So you see, my good boy, I have a turn both for observation and for deduction and fame. That is what makes me the one and only Herr, uh, no, Herlock Sholmes. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you say so, my dude, you seem cool to me. So, uh, about Kazuma's, Kazuma's death. Have you managed to deduce anything about this particular case yet? Have I managed to deduce anything, my dear fellow? Who do you suppose discovered the culprit in this most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective before you now, uh, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. Ah, I see. In other words, this dude is why I'm in handcuffs. I'm in these now because of him. When I became anxious about Kazuma-sama this morning, I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin door open. And I concealed myself among their number, gaining entry to the scene of the crime. Yes, luckily for everyone, the great detective Herlock Sholmes was on board. And the handcuffs seemed to be an excellent fit, Mr. Narahodo. Mr. Narahodo. Arg. In the very moment I laid eyes on the scene, two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Can't you elaborate about that, my good man? Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please, what two facts were apparent to you when you came into this cabin this morning? Ah, uh, yes. But first, let us be precise. The two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand. 
But what were they? Allow me to elucidate. The two facts that I deduced from a mere momentary glance at the scene of the crime were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape from the culprit out of the question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed following a dispute with an acquaintance. Hold on, Mr. Sholmes. What made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message left by the victim on the floor. Fapadoop. That is a Russian word for wardrobe. Do, do you really think Kazuma Sama could have such a dying message in Russian? I highly doubt that. In their final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. For this young man, Russian. Kazuma was Russian, was he? <laughs> I'm Russian to disprove your faulty deduction, my guy. Initially, I considered Gardarov, maybe the name of the killer, a certain Robert Gard, eh, perhaps. Oh, see, you misread it too. But in the interest of thoroughness, I decided it would be wrong not to look inside the wardrobe there, at least, where you found Mr. Narahodo sleeping soundly. Quite so. I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I'm Russian too? I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. Okay, so that is a fair connection, I would suggest. I mean, that's, it's kind of obvious, but not, like, that's, I mean, it's logical. And, if my memory serves, that outfit is a traditional dress of the Russian people. And, and see, now, now you fucking... Now you lost me, my dude. Uh, our school uniforms are the traditional dress of the Russian people? I, I had no idea. Bro, is this dude said that fucking the moon was made out of cheese? Would you believe him, Sazato? And I had no idea a detective could get something so wrong. I took a photograph of the victim and the message so that I might analyze it for possible hidden details. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Sorry, Kazuma. This... This was taken immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, Kazuma had already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I've actually seen him like this. Are you alright, Mr. Narahodo? Oh, um, yes. Thank you. The photograph of the crime scene has been entered into the court record. Can I ask you something, Mr. Sholmes? What, pray? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was a fearsome revolutionary fleeing from Russia and all that bullshit? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. The train of reasoning that led me to the truth. Would you mind explaining that train of reasoning to me, do you think? Russian. Certainly, if it interests you. How many times? I'm not fucking Russian and I don't speak fucking Russian. God. Okay, now, about the deduction. Erm, can we talk about your deduction before? The things that you concluded about me, I mean. Hmm. Ah, the now famously accurate, troubling predicament you find yourself in. Actually, it was the other details that I was more hoping to discuss. You know, the merciless Russian revolutionary and assassin of 16 part. Ah, yes. The more sordid details. It was a fairly commonplace deduction. Here we have this morning's paper. The main headline reads... Revolutionary Villain Borchevik... <laughs> Villain Borchevik? What the... Really? Uh, come on. Please, Russia via Shanghai. This vessel made a port call at Shanghai yesterday, and last night the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? It sounds like Mr. Sholmes has concluded he was Russian because of what Kazuma Sama wrote on the floor. It was a simple act of reasoning to realize that the culprit of this crime was the same merciless revolutionary. 
okay, well, that's like, I mean, it's it's not accurate to me at all, but at least you didn't completely pull it out of your ass. Like, I guess if you came into a room and you saw a message in Russian, and you had, had knew that a Russian revolutionary had escaped on the boat that this boat made a, in the city that this boat made a visit at, like, it's not totally unreasonable, but still. One who had killed the very man who helped him to escape after his true identity was discovered. Yes, you. Villain Borjevic. No, no, no! How could it be me? I don't look anything like this man. Just look at his face. Well, yeah, there is that. That's the other. That's the part that's, like, unreasonable. Well, you are a fearsome revolutionary, after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned to revolutionize your appearance as well. Ugh. What? B bro, what the fuck? And, I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list. Need I say more? Yeah, I mean, I am a stowaway. Well, that's because I'm a stowaway. What about the other details? The 16 victims of assassination and blowing up the Crystal Tower? Ah, uh, yes. The journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all those particulars in the article. The deeds this man has perpetrated thus far and those he is plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary Bolshevik was included. There can be no mistake. Do... Do revolutionaries usually agree to interviews with newspaper reporters, I wonder? Yeah, that's a good question. And uh, what about that part where you said I was, like, returning from Afghanistan or some shit? Also, quite clearly stated here in the article. Bolshevik has recently returned after a period of subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. Okay, well, that's interesting, because I'm pretty sure the fucking, like... I know obviously Afghanistan existed during this time period, but it's funny that, like, it won't be another almost 100 years before uh, the Soviet and uh, Afghanistan, uh, you know, have a well-known interaction. Where even is it, anyway? This Afghanistan place. It's in the, it's in the Middle East, my good man. Here. Take the paper for yourself, as a little memento of this great deduction. Oh, um, thanks. I've absorbed all that is of in interest to me within its pages, but I see no rubbish bin nearby. The article about the revolutionary has been entered into the court record. Okay, fair enough. And you may find the article on the back page of interest as well. On the back. Cast your eye over it sometime as the interest takes you. So you may need someone to interpret. It's all written in Russian. I couldn't hope to read it. But I suppose it wouldn't hurt just to glance at the article. Maybe there might be a picture or two. Okay, uh, let's see. This, this is recording so a little long, but let's see. I can probably fit in like this, this last little bit of dialogue. Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma. Ah, uh, yes. The victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desktop of the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in pitting some text. London Diary. Kazuma was keeping notes of the trip. Ah, but I don't think you should read his private writings. It could upset people. Like Cesado. Tragic. And something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. You, uh... You mean you've read it already? It is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you're about to know what a Cesado takedown is. G fucking got him. Uh... Sonato san aren't you going to throw the detective with one of your trademark takedowns? You know, hit him with a judo flip? I'm sorry, Naruhoto-san. What on earth do you mean? 
Bro, bro, come on. You, 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 you turned to me three times. Do you want to do it again to, to fucking show him? Life is so unfair. Bro, isn't it, man? The life of an ace attorney protagonist. <clears throat> anyway, to return to the matter at hand, namely this diary belonging to the victim. It would appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Pray be precise as to details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. A smattering, dear boy, a smattering. Sayonara, bonsai, mikado, nado nado. I trust you're suitably impressed. <sighs> But this diary is littered with complicated looking characters of which I can read precisely zero. <laughs> What's so funny about that, my dude? So what was all that showing off about before then? So you didn't read shit then, really. And you were just trying to get us to read it for you. If you would be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Sholmes. Oh, and now you're all not gung-ho about reading Kazuma's private writings. I must oblige, my dear madam. The final entry here in Kazuma-sama's diary consists of just two short sentences. The first reads, 1.23 a.m. I can read a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound? Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Boop, 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 doo -doo. Hmm. hmm. Is a very deep waters. Ray, go on. The second sentence, sorry, the second sentence reads, 1.35 a.m., but looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. Hmm, the ventilator grill, you say? The man was presumably referring... to the lattice there on the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. See, I knew the fucking event was going to come and play at some point. Like, you can't have a vent and not have it be somewhat relevant to any given case. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Kazuma's diary has been entered into the court record. Alright, looks like we wrapped things up with, uh, Sherlock. Herlock. Seriously, I'm going to have trouble remembering that name. Uh, anyway, we are running long, and since we, we finished that talky bit, and who knows, I, I don't know what exactly is going to be coming in, coming afterwards, uh, but, you know, it's, it, we, we can, we can check it out next episode. So far, this Herlock Sholmes, boy, what a, what a character, am I right? <laughs> Until then. <laughs>